Uh, under the bat wings, get it? Under the wings, the bat wings, of the Grim Life Collective, both Jessica and I have visited some pretty amazing places throughout the United States. At some point, we're gonna go overseas, but not once, never in a million years did I ever think that we would actually be walking the campus of Yale University. That's right. Today, we're in New Haven, Connecticut. Today, we're gonna to be visiting a secret society known as the Skull and Bones. I got chills, did you get chills? I got chills. <laughs> Our Halloween adventures continue. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. Now we've been on many campuses across the country, but none of them have looked quite like this place. Maybe it's just because it's October. What do you? <laughs> it didn't really oh, work. Were easier to blow. Yeah, it didn't work as exactly as you thought it would, did it? No, that was hard. Now you got to watch out for the squirrels because there are oh, squirrels because everywhere. Squirrels because of falling walnuts. Beware of the falling walnuts. Now, as I was saying, there's not many campuses that look like this and it could just be because it's Halloween it's October but this place is beautiful like it, it feels like a, a European castle mixed with uh, I don't know what it is there's just something magical in the air we parked our car a little way up the street for a couple different reasons one they're having a bit of a pumpkin festival going on right now so it's a little hard to find parking but also we kind of wanted to park a little far away and just walk through the campus of Yale and just take every <laughs> and just take it all in. <laughs> oh God, what am I going to do with her? She's picked up more. <laughs> You're welcome to talk to me. All right, baby girl, as we're walking over to the Skull and Bones tomb, first impressions of Yale, what do you know about this college? I mean, honestly, nothing, aside from it being one of the top prestigious schools in the country. I really don't know anything about it. Now- It's old. Right? Very old. Yeah. Now, Skull and Bones tomb, mm -hmm. well, the, the fraternity, it's one of the oldest fraternities here on campus, dating back to like the 1830s and maybe a little further back than that. Yeah, I think even earlier. So there's the Skull and Bones, otherwise known as the Order or the Brotherhood of Death. And there are two other ones. Yes. Squirrel and Key. Yes. And... Wolfman? Wolf's, Wolf's Head. Wolf's Head. Now, it's a secret society. People know about it. Nobody talks about it. And the people who are rumored to be Members are actually called Bonesmen, Bonesmen, which I think is just perfect. Just walking through the campus, the town of New Haven. This is something else. It's like straight out of a horror movie. One of the things that I absolutely love about visiting Grim locations is finding historic places like this. And some of the architecture and then the gates as well. And look at this, right? Everything about this place it's it's otherworldly jessica really loves the windows this place is crazy cool and since we're all about preserving history we just passed this there's a little plaque there it says the first building of yale college was erected near this spot in 1718 and removed in 1782 to commemorate the site, this tablet is placed by the students of Yale University in 1901. Wow. And over here in the corner, there's a carving in the actual stone that says the old Yale fence stood here, 1837 to 1888. Lots of history, that's for sure. I'm not sure what I was thinking. I thought the Skull and Bones tomb was maybe like a block or two. This is a very big building. This is turning into quite a hike. 
quite a trek. We're getting a little bit of exercising in. All right, we're almost there. Just on the other side of this archway is the Skull and Bones tomb. It's quite fitting, exactly where I imagined it was going to be. And just on the other side of that archway is where you will find the Skull and Bones tomb. Now, I didn't add those chimes from the church. It's happening as we're standing here. How freaking perfect. That's giving me chills. It's hauntingly beautiful. Oh, it's all coming from that bell tower high above the church. How hauntingly creepy was that? Definitely fitting for first arriving at the Skull and Bones tomb, which is right across the street. We're going to talk about it. It's still chiming off in the distance. We have work to do. Now here's the thing about this place. Skull and Bones and this tomb, this is the oldest fraternity on the Yale campus. And there's three strange fraternities, like we were saying earlier. There's Squirrel and Key, and then there's a third one known as Wolf's Head. The people who are part of this fraternity, dating all the way back to the early 1800s, they're called Bones Men. How freaking fitting. Now, of course, like we said earlier, Yale is a very prestigious, it's an Ivy League school, but there's all kinds of people who are rumored to have been a part of this fraternity, who are rumored to be, at one point, Bonesmen. Maybe I shouldn't say at one point, because when it comes to fraternity and college, once you're in, you're in for life, right? So some of the people that have been a part of this fraternity over the years have gone on to become very po popular and very powerful politicians. Over the years, people have gone on to create very prominent newspapers. I think um, the guy who founded FedEx, he even was rumored to be a, a bonesman here at the Yale University. A lot of mystery when it comes to this place. The wind is really starting to pick up, like some sort of spirit moving through the daytime. Now, as we continue talking about the building and what goes on here, well, what's rumored to go on here, I'm gonna go ahead and walk around the building. Everybody always gets pictures from the front. I wanna see if we can see anything looking down between the two buildings. Now, like I said, all kinds of people were rumored to attend here, still are. Remember, once you're in, you're in for life. But do you remember whenever John Kerry was running for president alongside Bush. Well, both of them are rumored to be bonesmen. George W. Bush has been asked about his membership of Skull and Bones. Does it still exist? Um, the thing is so secret that I'm not even sure it still exists. Record that as the most unusual question I've ever been asked in my entire political. <laughs> Interesting, right? Interesting indeed. Supposedly, it's the very first time that two Bonesmen have ever run for that kind of office. Something else, man. Something else. One of the reasons for looking on both sides of the building, there's really no windows or doors. There's one door and a few small windows, and that's pretty much it. But what's really cool is standing over here off to the side. Well, let me show you. If you look just past the fence, you see that basement window right there? And there's another one here. Now let's just imagine that secret societies, such as the Skull and Bones, or the Order, or the Brotherhood of Death, and what you see in Hollywood in the movies is true. And they have these like, you know, secret meetings and rituals dressed in cloaks down in the basement. Could this be the basement? right on the other side of those windows? Could that be where they hold their secret meetings? And plus, I really want to get a closer look at these windows. They look like bars, don't they? Like somebody's being kept inside. Against their will. Dun-dun! Who 
werewolves? Werewolves. And then a secret society known as the Brotherhood of Death? I've seen this show. Oh, they have made movies based off yeah. of things like this. Lots, yeah. Now, secret societies and fraternities and creepy places inside colleges that nobody really talks about have all been the topic of different Hollywood movies and different stories for many years. Over on the West Coast, the granddaddy one over there is Bohemian Grove. Over here on the East Coast, the Skull and Bones, this is the granddaddy over here. Now, they even made a movie that is eerily similar to the Skull and Bones. It's called The Skulls. I remember seeing that. It creeped me out. And now we're standing right here. They got cameras. I know they got cameras. And they're watching me. We're on the radar of the Skull and Bones secret society. Hello? Are you ready to be reborn? Who is this? Well, since we've been standing here, people have gone inside and come out. And each time they've done it, the camera's been pointed somewhere else, almost like they've been watching us. We're gonna go stand here just for a minute and see if we can see anybody open that door. I highly doubt it. There are cameras. Nobody. I think they're done. Nobody's coming out. When we walked up, we saw that instead of opening the giant padlock, there's kind of a uh, extra large keyhole. Oh. <laughs> it happens, folks. Lost your hat. Oh, it happens all the time, actually. See, that wind is something yeah, else. Very windy today. Right? It wasn't this bad when we first got here. So, what were you saying? Well, there's, it looks like a teeny tiny door on top of the door. A little I, flap over a I keyhole. I like call them keyholes, you know, because it's a mysteriously hidden entry device, you know. Kind of makes me want to uh, give in to my inner child and go and like look at it. Like, you know, you run up on someone's porch and you knock and you run away kind of thing in, in fear or in fright. And you're like, don't kill me, secret society. I just want to touch your door. Are you telling me that you want to go ding dong ditch the Skull and Bones oh, tomb? It has a name? That's what it's called. So, yeah, ding uh, dong ditch. Now I have to. <laughs> She's going up to just look at the door. They said it's a pin pad? Yeah. Aren't well terribly mysterious, but it is lit up in blue. Aren't it you a my nerves are running. I can't talk correctly. Aren't you a spooky, brave little toaster? A brave no. little haunted toaster. No, I'm not. I'm having anxiety. <laughs> now, before we leave, I want to look down the other side as well. See if we can see anything. I mean, the buildings here are just, they're, they're, they're glorious. So there's the side of Skull and Bones. Wow. It's not a very long video, but it's definitely a spooky Halloween video indeed. With that, we want to say thank you guys for joining us on another grim adventure, this time to the Skull and Bones tomb here at Yale University. And as always, Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs>